on our journey after the depression that was Geelong. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ashley here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm super close to 10K. It would mean so much. Make sure to give this a like and leave your comments and recommendations for other areas and places to go to travel around Victoria. But today it is the Bellarine Peninsula. But I match, look. I matched this Airbnb. I didn't even plan that. Say not planned at all. Okay, we're gonna explore Ocean Grove, Queens Cliff, maybe Geelong. Stick around. Also, if you did see the Melbourne Show vlog, the henna tattoo is still in action. So yeah, this is the Airbnb. Very cute. This is a gifted stay um, that I'm working with over on Instagram at Coffee Nut. You know the drill. Love all of these like details. This is really cute, really cute. And then, like this is adorable. Like all the little notes and things are really cute. It's very like Palm Springs with the cactuses, the cacti, sorry, and then all of the colors. This is the other bedroom that we're not using, but we're gonna use this kind of for content in a bit. But look how cute, literally. I literally matched this comforter. This is the exact shade of yellow. Like, I planned that perfectly. Okay, game plan is, so we are staying in Ocean Grove, and see, this is how to spell it, for those who are unfamiliar, or would like to correct me in the comments. As per usual, all is welcome. Um, we're gonna go, because we've only done Queenscliff, we did Night Tide, which is up here, that vlog, if you wanna see it, that was a lot of fun. It was a night festival winter night festival uh, here on the peninsula in Queenscliff. We're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna do a loop. And then we've actually got into the Geelong CBD, so we're thinking of just having a quiz there maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But we're just waiting for our coffees. A very cute spot within walking distance of the Airbnb. Hi, your guys' favorite segment, coffee rating in three. Two, one, seven point two. Whoa, really? Can I try Why so it? high? Mine's I, really good. I can't really taste the coffee, and the milk's quite heavy. It's really light. I think we have different like ratings. If I can't, if I can't taste the coffee. I can. Okay, I've upped it to a seven point nine after discussion. We kind of met in the middle, and then I'm starting to do more detailed coffee ratings over on Instagram. Like I said, head over at Coffee Nut. Um, and also I'm trialing doing them on TikTok if you want more details. So this is the town of Ocean Grove. Oh, another fish and chip shop. Cute little coffee place there, actually. Yeah, so the game plan is to do kind of like a drive-through of all the different towns on the peninsula. We definitely want to check out the lighthouse because when we did do the ferry, when we did come down to Queen's Cliff last time, we passed the lighthouse and I remember, I think I, it was in the vlog, I, we were both like, wait, what, there's a lighthouse? Like we were, we didn't realize it uh, and it looked really cute, so, woo! So we just passed this and we're gonna grab coffee here. Um, I'm stuck between the carrot cake or the brownie. What do you reckon? I know we've only gotten coffee so far today in the vlog, but I promise there is more coming. Yeah, like a carrot cake. Yeah, a little snack. So, really cute spot, Dawn, here in Ocean Grove. I'm not saying anything until you taste it. <laughs> I kind of said it all, to be honest. Okay. Review in three, two, one. Seven point two. Oh, really? <laughs> I give it an eight. If you give it a seven point two. Why seven point two? It's a little under extracted. Okay, if you want to be technical, I like that I can taste the coffee at least. Mm. Like, yeah, the extraction is not perfect, but I can at least taste the coffee. Mm. I would rather a well extracted coffee where it doesn't overpower. Okay, that's the fair. milk rather than an under extracted one that you taste more of the coffee. Okay. Carrot cake review. Okay, this was a vegan carrot yeah. cake. Too much lemon. It's too citrusy. It's way too citrusy. It's like a lemon cake. Actually, all I'm tasting is the 
Reasons. Mm. We're giving it a rating. Three, two, one, four. Four out of ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least we agree on that. There's just too much going on. I mean, love that they had vegan options, but mm. like they so had multiple vegan options, vegan options yeah. so very grateful for that. Love when I can <clears> eat <throat> stuff out of the cabinet, so always appreciative of that. And they used code black. And now we're gonna move on with our day. Mm -hmm. I promise this vlog will not just be us talking about coffee, but like, would you guys actually expect nothing less? See, I can see the lighthouse in the distance. So this is the Port Lonsdale Lighthouse. Point. Point Lonsdale. Sorry, I falsely assumed it was Port. Oh, this is so cute. That's gotta be Queen's Cliff over there, right? I guess so. Now in the town of Port Lonsdale, looks really cute. Reminds me of Apollo Bay, if you did see our Great Ocean Road vlog. I'll put it up here. We're debating between Pico, which I believe uses industry beans for our next coffee to try, or one over there. We're at the second spot, so we got one coffee from this spot, and then one from this one. Oh my god, of course. <sighs> Very Australian. <laughs> okay, so coffee ratings, I will link the post, the Instagram post, going into those. We just got a coffee from each of the two places that we were debating. This is so funny. This is definitely the cutest town thus far. That is so cute. <laughs> a little gym, a gym sesh. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so funny. Like literally just at the park. <laughs> oh yeah, I felt it after 20 million repetitions. Oh, well I'm feeling it now. Currently just having a squiz around Queenscliff. We really liked that cafe last time we were here, Ziggy and Kit, but I think they just closed. We might try and catch them tomorrow. And then this grocery was really cute. We got really good wine here last time. We found this really cool vintage store here in Queenscliff. We were actually just looking at Pokemon cards. Whoopsies. I haven't like looked into places for lunch, no. but if you see anything. Queenscliff is such a cute town. We ended up uh, buying Pokemon cards, so we'll do a little haul later. That is currently, currently our jam. We did go through a phase before in Taz, but it, I don't, it's so nostalgic for me, and I think for you, you mm -hmm. can agree, mm -hmm. and I kind of just see it as, as buying stock. Like, investing. We're, we're investing. Um, I'm investing in know, my future. We're being adults. Yeah. Yeah. Well, having like the dopamine hit and like nostalgia oh, of opening a card pack and completing a set and stuff. Anyway, love Queenscliff. We decided to be responsible adults and go back and have a late lunch at the Airbnb because we brought some stuff with us from home. And then, because we do want to do the loop of the peninsula, but we think the best plan of attack is to split it because it's already almost two now. And so a lot of cafes and stuff and places are gonna start closing soon because this is rural Victoria. So we're gonna split it in half and we're gonna do the second bit. Cause we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna do the whole peninsula. We well, did three towns. It's funny cause you're making it sound like the peninsula is like massive. It's but not, actually, like, it's not. like all the little towns are like five, 10 minutes apart. Yeah, we it's small. We just get sidetracked with well, we get, cards. Well, we get sidetracked with coffee and yeah. cute towns and cute gift stores so and antique stores. I reckon if- We'll split it and then we're gonna head into Geelong, which fun fact, we've never been to the Geelong CBD. We've literally only driven around. We've gone to one cafe in South Geelong. Untitled. Untitled, thank you. Me and names, I'm horrible, you guys know. Have you subscribed yet, by the way? I have. Have you? Yes. Yeah, cool. And, and I hit the, the 
notification bell. Oh, and the notification bell? Yeah. Look at you, gold star. Uh -huh, thank you. Nice. Entering Geelong for the first time, the Geelong CBD. So funny, they have a Swanston Street like in Melbourne. Just saying uh, what our predictions were for the vibe of Geelong. I definitely don't think it's gonna be like a mini Melbourne. Geelong CBD predictions. I think it's going to remind me of Devonport. No, I don't think it's that bad. Okay. But I can see what you're saying. So like the relation between like Hobart and Launceston, mm -hmm. how like Hobart is like, you know. Significantly better. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's gonna be like that, like that disparity, you know? Mm. Okay. But that being said, we're in Victoria, so it's different. Geelong's still gonna be miles better than Devonport. Yeah, like Geelong is still gonna like yeah. have a lot going on. Yeah, I don't really know. We're near the mall at the moment. I mean, there is a Westfield. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Quite bougie. We will keep you guys updated. Because Geelong looks a lot smaller than I thought. This is just the CBD and that's it. At the Geelong waterfront. I think we're still confused what Geelong... Like, I, I don't think there really is anything to do in Geelong, per se. I think it's more like a stopping point. But correct me if I'm wrong. The Waterfront Express, everyone. <laughs> These places look cute. We're gonna try and have a look to see if we wanna grab dinner. Justin Lane, pizza and pasta. If they have vegan cheese, I'm in. Oh, this is in the way, sorry guys. So, did not end up going to that Italian place. They didn't have any vegan cheese or really any dairy-free options for me. So we ended up going to a place just around the block, which was Bow Thai. Really good. It was on the sign, voted number one Thai in Geelong. I thought it was really good. I think it was the only Thai restaurant in Geelong. <laughs> there was other Thai restaurants in Geelong, but we were just chatting that I guess we had higher expectations with how big Geelong was, like at least the CBD or stuff going on. And it makes me feel better. I texted a friend who used to live down this way, who now lives in the Melbourne area. And I was like, am I missing something? And she was basically like, oh, well there's like some good places to eat and drink, but that's pretty much it. And I was like, okay, I respect that. But that is Geelong. I would say if you're on a road trip, you can most definitely skip this spot unless you are specifically looking for a chain store that they only have here. Or the carousel. Yeah, or the Thomas train. Oh my God, there, yeah, that was actually the highlight. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, thanks Geelong. Uh, yeah, we're leaving, thanks. So Geelong <clears throat> is definitely better than Launceston in Taz, if you know, you know, but this does definitely remind me of Launceston. Like if you take out the Westfield in the center of Geelong, it gives me Launceston vibes. Like a bit more modern, but Launceston vibes. And that, I guess, really isn't a compliment. It's like everything feels a little Everything's dead. closed too. I know it's a weekday, but a couple cute spots. Yeah, I mean, definitely a drive through place, but I wouldn't put it on a list of destinations. Like, oh, I need to go out of my way to go to Geelong. Because it's not like a small cute town either. No, it's not really quaint or anything. We will be going to a lot more cute towns tomorrow morning around the Bellarine Peninsula, so stay tuned for that one. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what to say. Bye no. Geelong. Bye. went to the same coffee spot as yesterday just checked out of our Airbnb I'll have all of the Airbnb info linked down below it was such a cute stay very like Palm Springs vibes and yeah continuing on our journey after the depression that was Geelong yesterday to go back to cute rural 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 rural, rural, rural Victoria okay, <laughs> rural Victoria towns. So first up is St. Leonard. So we are gonna complete the peninsula 
that we were chatting about yesterday. So we're currently and we're not getting sidetracked and by we're Pokemon not, cards. We're not getting sidetracked. We'll see though. We did find a really good deal on Pokemon cards. Stay tuned for that video. So we're driving through St. Leonard's at the moment. Cute little coastal town on the ocean. Yeah, there's a lot of construction, a lot of houses being built. We also realized that yesterday when we were around, what was it, Queenscliff? A lot of development. Okay, so this is the little downtown of St. Leonard's, couple of fish and chip shops, burgers, pizza. We are scoping out to see if there is a spot for coffee. They Art do can... piers really well in there. Yeah, the peninsula, there's a lot of really cute piers. 10 out of 10 on the pier scale. We're gonna have a little walk on the pier and scope out a coffee spot, but it looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Definitely a smaller coastal town. I would still say my favorite town thus far was Point Lonsdale. Oh, 100%. That was a really cute town. We're currently looking for coffee. There it is, the salty cow. We're gonna do a drive-by, walk-by to get the vibes. There's parking here. Yeah. Oh, no stopping. No, no, we're good. Oh. Oh, it's a cafe and a wine bar. Hey, trying the salty cow in St. Leonard's. Feels quite hot to touch, but let's see. I think I need to let it cool. I, I don't really have much of an opinion yet. I will check in in a bit. So we are currently driving through Indented Head on our way to Port Arlington. Just like a cute outskirts seaside town the loop right on the water yeah definitely seems to be like a shack holiday home area quite quiet a lot of boats a lot of what a lot of boats boats yeah really modern shacks actually this is port arlington so i had a quick look on the instagram of this spot called staple and it looks very our vibe very melbourne deli like very like hector's deli-esque and um they do vegan cheese with their toasties and so i'm set the fact that I can have melted cheese on a sandwich is incredible and we are going to take advantage of it. But it seems like there are a lot of really cute cafes like we were thinking of going to Pier Cafe which had a lot of really good reviews or there was one or two other spots. So I would definitely say Port Arlington even if you're driving through seems to be a really cute town to grab lunch or breakfast or dinner I'm assuming too. No, I just missed out on the Nintendo 64. This, this. Is that, oh, Triple O7, I was like, is that, the what is that? The stadium was insane because you could um, play it, like you could get your Pokemon from the Game Boy game. Oh, and transfer. That. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Very cool. Definitely some cute shops here in Port Arlington. The Toasties were so fire. And then got some lollies. candy corn. Australian tries his first candy corn. This just in. Wait, let me taste one and make sure they're authentic. Yeah. Let's do an American taste test. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm hmm It's not a flavor though. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. Which I don't mind. It wasn't 
So fire. For whatever reason, it wasn't the texture I was expecting. So fire. I thought they were gonna be like hard. Mm -mm, they like melt in your mouth. Yeah. Mm. Tried to go to the bakery, but fortunately I didn't have anything I could eat, but it looked really good. So I would say if you do come to Port Arlington, the bakehouse seems to be pretty popular. Yeah, Port Arlington is definitely really cute. That's the bakehouse that I was saying that looks really popular. Unfortunately, nothing for me, but that's okay. And we're gonna continue on the drive. I would definitely say on the peninsula, my favorite towns were Point Leonard, Ocean Grove, and Port Arlington. I think they all had really cute gems. So, well, and we like Queenscliff. So I would say those four towns specifically, if you are looking for really cute rural coastal towns on the Bellarine Peninsula, I would definitely recommend those. And, yeah, like I said, make sure to head over to my Instagram for all of the detailed coffee ratings and reviews. We're giving Geelong another shot. Well, kind of. Kind, kind of. of. We're going around the Geelong CBD because basically we did like Untitled Cafe, which I believe is in South Geelong. We've gone there twice now and they do decent coffee and sandwiches. And like that's in a cute neighborhood on the outskirts of Geelong. And we're going to like this vintage market that is in North Geelong. So the Geelong suburbs, I feel like we get our, we get along with quite well. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's the secret to Geelong. Yeah. I'm so interested to hear what people say in the comments about Geelong, actually. So please leave your opinion about Geelong in the comments. It is really important. Geelong really likes drive-through co uh, coffee shops, it seems, the Geelong area. Oh, do you want an iced? So, do yes. Do a cold brew and a oat flatty? Yeah, or do, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna try, gonna try bean the, squeeze, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Hey, good, how are you? We've driven by this spot a couple times, hey Snorlax, and we <laughs> wanted to finally give it a go. So this is Bean Squeeze. We've passed a couple of locations just outside of Geelong, so we're like, you know what, let's do it, let's try it. And of course, in true us fashion, we're like, no, we have to try two things. So I just got a cold brew. Yeah, cold brew's good. Yeah. Average, but like a good solid cold brew. And then got an oat flat white. These cups are cool too. Is that a platypus? No, no way. No, it kind of looks like a I don't think that's raven or a curl. Okay, 